guys? Today is another vlog day! And for today's video, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga indoor plants ko. Kasi, nahilig ako sa plants um, dahil nag-quarantine. So, since April, I've been buying plants. And ngayong winter na dito, um, naisipan ko na pakita sa inyo yung mga indoor plants ko para alam nyo kung ano yung mga plants na pwede naman nating i-keep or ipatubuin sa loob ng bahay na hindi kailangan nasa outdoor sila and marami masyadong sun. So, eto mga plants na to, sobrang dali nilang alagaan. Ayan, so sa nakikita nyo, six sa uh, mga plants na to ay nasa room ko and the rest is nakakalat sa bahay. Sobrang dami niya tignan, tapos iisa-isahin natin kasi ito guys, ito yung mga common plants na talagang nilalagay indoor. Start muna tayo dito sa mga nasa front. So, most of you know about this kind of plant. So, ito ay isa sa mga nasa family siya ng succulents. And sobrang daling alagaan, sobrang easy to maintain. Hindi siya kailangan laging tinutubigan and everything. And meron pa ako isang ganitong plate sa baba. But since it's almost similar, I'm just gonna show you one. And this specific succulent is called hen and chicks. So I have that. And ito yung isa sa mga favorite ko din. Super low maintenance lang siya. I have um, a set of air plants. Ayan. So, I have a couple of them. It's a really nice decoration. And hindi siya kailangan na nasa lupa or hindi siya kailangan na nakalubog sa water. So, yun yung maganda sa kanya. So, around low maintenance, you only need to water them once a month. And pag winawater mo sila, ilulubog mo lang sila sa tubig for 5 minutes. And then, ayun, sasoak mo sa water for 5 minutes. And then, yun, okay na sila for another one month. So, yan. Meron din ang ganito. This one is not dead. Ganito lang talaga yung itsura niya. So, yan. It's really good. So, ito, um, may pagka-price ito eh. Actually, this one, itong succulent, two, ano siya, dalawang sets na pinagsama ko. So, this is kinda cheap. It's only $5 per set. So, this whole plate cost me $10. Except for like the pebbles and stuff. So, this, this one, isang buong set na ito. Actually, I got it shipped from Ontario. So, lima sila eh. So, one, one, two, three, four, five. Basta five yun nandiyan. So, yan. Pinaship ko siya from Ontario. I paid 35 dollars. 35 US dollars? No. 35 Canadian dollars plus tax and shipping. Para makuha ko itong mga to. And, yun. Uh, Pinakage naman nila ng safe tong mga air plants. It's a really nice decoration, guys. So, nilagay ko lang siya dito sa clear plate but you can put it anywhere. Kahit na nakaganyan lang siya sa desk nyo, it will still look nice though. So, I recommend this, lalo na sa mga beginners, dahil sobrang low maintenance. So, meron naman akong plants na mga nabili ko sa IKEA. So, um, guys, so yung IKEA, nire-recommend ko talaga siya sa indoor plants. Kasi, first of all, dahil pagpasok mo doon, yung plant section nila is makikita mo talagang indoor and walang malapit na bintana. So, that means, if bibili mo siya at dadalhin sa bahay mo, kayang-kaya niya talaga mabuhay kahit hindi siya dun sa mismong bintana mo ilalagay. So, and yung price nila is sobrang ayos for me. And I think out of all the stores na binibilhan ko ng plants, IKEA yung parang, ano, yung parang good quality for me. So, iisa-isahin ko kung ano yung mga nabili ko from IKEA and kung magkano ko sila nabili. So, this one is not a bonsai. Although, most of us will think na bonsai siya, pero hindi. So, this is a ginger plant. So, it's a Chinese ginger plant. I got this from Ikea and it is $20 para dito. So, dinidiliga ko lang lahat ng mga laman ko guys ng once a week kapag winter. Reason is hindi kasi masyadong mainit. So, hindi natutuyo yung soil natin agad-agad kapag winter and nare-retain yung moisture. So, pag winter, once a week, kapag summer, every 3 days ko siya dinidiligan. So, this one, pag dinidiligan mo siya, spray-spray lang. It's a really nice ano accent sir room, especially sa mga desk, like office desk, study table. Or... So, ayan, binili ko siya, and right now, ang pwesto niya is sa office namin. Kasi, it's really, really cute. And kung nakikita niyo tong stem na to, bagong tubo lang niya this winter. So yeah guys, so this is a really good plant although I think this one requires a little bit of 
ano, care talaga. Kasi nung unang bili ko dito, guys, after one week, naglalagas yung mga dahon niya. And I don't know what to do with it. It used to be inside my room, but then nilipat ko siya sa office because I think there's more sun in the office. Kaya, ayan, na-revive ko naman siya and now it's doing pretty well. So, ayan, this is a really, really nice plant. Although, isa siya sa mga mahal na plants na nabili ko. Another plant from IKEA is this one. I think it's like a mini, anong ba tawag? A mini palm plant, I think. Palm siya. And then this one, guys, believe it or not, tat hinati ko sa tatlo itong plant na to. So this is just one third of the plant that I got just for $10. So if you did buy me $10 a tree, this is only $3.33. Diba? And now it's super, ano na, super laki na and mahaba na siya, mabilis din tumubo. The way siya tumubo, guys, sumusulpot lang isang bong stand, tas bumubo kasi yung mga ano niya, yung mga dahon. Yeah, so this one is nice. Oh, then I got one more plant from Ikea. So this one I got it also from Ikea. This is called the ZZ plant. And the reason why it's called that is yung pangalan niya na talagang normal is sobrang hirap i-pronounce. Kaya ngayon yung mga plantitas and plantitas, they call it the ZZ plant. It's a really nice accent then. Medyo may pagkahawig siya sa rubber plant kasi sobrang shiny ng mga leaves niya. And right now, meron siyang new growth. Kung nakikita nyo, it's this one. So, hahaba siya and then bubukas yung leaves. And once na naging ganito na yung color ng leaves, nagmamature na siya. So, I got this plant for $20. And also, I got the pot from Ikea as well for only $8. Ayan. So, this is located sa aking, ano ba to? Study table. Sa so study table ko siya nakalagay kasi sobrang ganda niya. Mukha siyang fake pero mukha siyang real. Alam niyo yun? At nare-relax ako pag nakikita ko siya. And then, I got this. I got this one too from Ikea. So, nung binili ko to, hindi pa masyadong uso ang snake plant. So, this is called a snake plant or Sensrivia. Sensrivera, I don't know what that is. But, ayan yung pangalan niya. I got this for only $10 sa Ikea. And sobrang laki na niya ngayon. I got this na mga ganito lang siya kaliit. Now it's growing so big. And isa to sa mga common house plant. Kasi sobrang low maintenance. Hindi niya kailangan ng ilaw. Nabubuhay siya sa dilim. And also yung water. Hindi kailangan ng sobrang daming pagdidilim. So yan. Sabay-sabay ko binili actually. Ito. 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 And ito. So, this quarantine ko, binili sila lahat dahil na-addict ako sa plan. So, yan. Sabay-sabay kong binili. And, ang uh, last na nabili ko naman sa IKEA is this one. I mean, not last actually. So, I got this from IKEA. This is one of my favorite plants. Kasi ito ang first plant ko ever since I moved here sa new house namin. So, I got this on October 1st, 2019. So, one year na siya sa akin. Um, it is, I got this for $35. $35. Pero ang laki-laki na niya, guys. Sobrang laki na niya. And naka, ano to, katabi to ng bed ko. Kasi parang nakaka-relax siya makita. And parang mas fresh yung nilalabas yung hangin for me. Unfortunately, I don't know what it's called. Kung ano yung talaga niyang pangalan. Kasi hindi ko natandaan nung binili ko siya. Dahil I'm not yet into plants that time. But I call it Bambini. Because it looks like a bamboo and yeah. So, ito lang yung plant ko na main name. And ang name niya is Bambini. <laughs> so, so far, napakita ko na sa inyo yung mga nabili ko ng IKEA. I'm gonna show you naman yung nabili ko ng Home Depot. Meron dalawa. So, one of them is this one. Oops! Hala! Hala na ano yung mga babies. Anyway, so, this is called Spider Plant. Binili ko lang to sa Home Depot for $5. It's a really nice plant as well. Um, masasabi ko dito, sobrang liit na to nung binili ko guys. Ganito lang yung lagayan niya. $5. And the way siya mga nap is ganyan. Nagpo-produce siya ng mga long strings like that. And nagkakaroon ng same plant sa dulo na kamukha nito. Pag nag-mature itong plant na to na baby, magiging kamukha nito na naka-attach sa kanya. So, yan. This is only 5 bucks from Home Depot. So, check Home Depot out.
Kasi marami pa silang indoor plants na binibenta. And then, one more plant that I got. No, actually, I got three from Home Depot. So, this is the first one. And I have one more. So, ito guys. Sobrang famous house plant din siya. This is called the Brazilian Pothos. And ito yung ano guys. Pag umaba siya, pinapakapit mo siya sa stick or nakahang siya sa ceiling. Ganyan. Ayan yung details niya guys. Kaya, hindi siya regular pothos. May texture siya. Parang meron siyang kung ano-anong ganyan. And then guys, yung ibang plants ko pala, merong mga labels. Yung mga ibang plants kasi dito, nabibili siya ng may kasamang label. Kung paano alagaan and kung ano yung name niya. So, paano siya i-water, saan siya i-place, ganyan. So, one of the best plants that I have, although merong isang leaf na nagta-turn yellow. So, that's a bad sign. I'm not sure what's the cause of it, but I'll, ano, I'll search it up. The last plant that I got from Home Depot is this one. Oh, nasabi ko ba yung price? So, this is $5, $10, and this is another $10. This is called Philodendron. And it's doing pretty well, same as Pothos. Kapag humaba, ano siya, kapag lumaki, humahaba rin. And pwede rin siyang ihang. Although, this one parang hindi siya lumaki since I got it. Kasi ito medyo humaba siya eh. Nung nakuha ko siya, parang wala pa nito. So, humahaba siya. But this one parang hindi pa siya lumalaki sa akin. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I'll still wait for it to grow. And then, the second last plant that I'm showing you is this one. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah, so this is also famous, especially sa mga uh, older plantitos and plantitas dyan. It's a very famous indoor plant, although it's kind of pricey sometimes, kasi this one is not. Um, so, it's called Anthurium. Hindi siya pricey dahil, I don't know, randomly lang nakita ni mommy siya for only $12, guys. So, chine-check out namin yung ibang mga plant store sa iba-ibang lugar like Maple Ridge, Pit Meadows. We even checked, um, tawag dito sa IKEA. It's really expensive. It's like mga $25 to $35 para sa ganito kaliit na plant. But sa Home Depot, mom randomly saw it for $11, guys. And, ayan, sobrang nice niya. Although, yung flowers niya, it can only last for 5 to 7 weeks, I think. And sabi nila do, ito ang longest living flower. So, ayan, matagal siya bago mamatay. Pero pag namatay na yung flower niya, it, still, it will still look good kasi mukha siyang ivy leaf. Ivy leaves, ganyan. So, nung binila namin ito, meron siyang 7 na flower. Ngayon, may tatlo na lang and mukhang mamamatay na yung iba. But, it's okay. Mag-grow naman sila ulit. And, the last plant that I'm gonna show you is isa sa mga favorite ng lahat. So, tatabi muna natin itong mga to. So, this is called the Monstera Deliciosa plant or Swiss cheese plant. So, bakit Swiss cheese? Dahil meron siyang butas-butas sa leaves niya, guys. So, this one is very easy to propagate. Actually, nung binili ko siya, is meron na siya agad mga babies. And now, it looks like this. Oops. It looks like this. Light green siya. Pero kapag nag-mature siya, padark siya ng padark. And also, kapag kinat nyo yung leaf niya, so, kunyari, you like itong leaf na to. Pag kinat nyo siya, and nilubog nyo sa siya sa water, it can last for months nang hindi natutuyot for some reason. So, I don't know kung bakit, but yeah. Kaya yung iba, kapag ka gusto nyo mag-accent sa room, buy a monstera plant and mag-cut kayo ng isang leaf, lubog niya sa tubig para lang siyang flower na ano, na pinapreserve nyo through water. Ayan, so see, it's really nice. I got this from Walmart. It's only $25. Hindi pa sikat ang Monstera that time. Hindi pa masyadong hype ang tao about it. So I guess that's the reason why I only got it for $25. But I would say the average price na to right now would be around $50 plus. Sa ganito kalaking Monstera ha. Kasi for $25, you can still buy a Monstera plant. But hindi ganyan. Hindi ganyan kalaki. So, this is also a vine plant. So, that means gumagapang siya. Lumalaki siya and kailangan niya ng vertical structure para mag-grow. But sa akin, hinahayaan ko lang siya na walang masyadong sticks kasi gusto ko naman siyang naka, ano, naka higa and para mas malaki yung cover niya. 
So, ayun lang. This video is kind of dedicated sa mga plantitos and plantitas out there. And I hope you enjoyed my plant tour. So, early next year, for sure, I will show you how to propagate my plants. And actually, you can propagate them naman right now. But parang more chance lang of success kapag ka sa springtime mo ginawa. Kasi yun lang talaga ang nature ng plants. Uh, kapag spring or medyo warm na yung weather, mas mabilis silang mag-grow. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. And that's it guys. So, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button para updated kayo sa weekly videos ko. Sana na-enjoy nyo tong popular indoor house plants tour na ginawa natin today. And see you again next week. Bye!